Hello guys, hope you are doing good. In our previous video, we have created the setup where we scatter points only along the borders of a geometry. In case if you have missed it, you can go back and watch this video, there is a link in the description. Okay, let's move on to today's topic which is scatter using the camera frustum. So in case if you don't know what a camera frustum is, the camera frustum is an object which represents the field of view of the camera. It's, it's kind of a cone shaped object from the camera. It will show you where the camera is seeing. To visualize, I have already created the frustum inside this node. We'll see quickly how it looks. That's how the frustum looks. So why we are doing this? Because if you take this scene, if you want to scatter on this grid, so I'm scattering on the grid now. So as you can see, there are a lot of points around these areas where the camera is not seeing at all. So in this case, a lot of memory which is getting uh, used for no purpose because the camera is seeing only these points. These are like useless. So smarter idea is to scatter only where the ca camera is seeing. So that's what exactly we are going to do. Okay. To create the frustum, I have used a special tool called QL Tools, which is available open source. You can download it and install it for free. There is a link in the description where you find how to install it. And also, I'll give you the link of the QLib library as well. So let's say you have installed the QLib and you can easily find the camera frustum QL in the tab menu and you can drop it i'll just delete this one and keep this one so first you need to set the camera name here i have the camera which is camera one the default value is fine for me because it automatically points to the camera one so that's fine let's adjust the clipping planes here so this is the grid i'm templating this to see how the frustum looks so this is how you create the camera frustum very easily using the QLib. You can create the frustum without QL tools, but it's it's little tricky and advanced. So to create it very easily, you just have to install the QLib tools. And the QLib has a lot of different tools you can use as well. So it's a really useful thing. I highly recommend to download and install it. Okay, so now we have created the frustum and we can use this to group the objects which are inside the frustum to do that we can use the group swap so connect the first input to the grid and the second input to the frustum by default it's going to select everything but we want to select whatever is inside the frustum okay let's disable the base group here and enable the bounding regions so it has an option to select the bounding object. So what this will do is just select the objects whichever is inside this bounding object connected to the second input. So it's erroring because it clearly says this will work only with the points and vertices. So let's change the group type to points. So once you do that, you can clearly see that it's selecting only the objects which is inside the camera frustum sorry the points which is inside the camera frustum and we can we can name this group as inside okay so now we have a group of points which is inside the frustum let's create an attribute attribute create sop called density and you can see the density is created now but the value of the density is zero everywhere let's say we want to keep it as one and now it's it's one everywhere we can select the group here wherever the camera is not seeing is zero and wherever the camera is seeing it's one we can go to the camera view and check this yeah as we can see whatever the camera can see is now in red color and whatever the camera cannot see is in the blue color we have some issues here we have some greenish color we don't want that so to do that there is a way here in the camera press from ql just click this button and increase the overscan so that this fixes the issue and we have completely red all over where the camera is seeing 
so this is what exactly we need um, let's also increase the count of the divisions let's say that's enough okay let's uh, scatter some points and use the density attribute by default it's going to scatter everywhere but to be efficient we are going to scatter only where the camera frustrum is seen so let's enable this and here we go so that's that's exactly what we needed so wherever the camera can see we have points and wherever it cannot see we don't have any points learning little tricks like this every day is one of the easiest way to learn houdini if you wish to learn more in easy way hit that subscribe button so that you receive my videos as soon as i publish hope you find this useful if you want in-depth tutorial of any of these topics you can always let me know in the comment section thanks a lot for watching have fun